It flew into Pensacola, and then uh, they, and we made sure to let them know that we have no equipment to unload Atlas from the truck, and it was, they just manhandled it and got it inside. It's pretty exciting to see a bunch of guys pushing a robot up a ramp. But we're instructed not to open it up and let them handle it all. So they came and they're the ones who led the unpacking procedure, cutting the bands, unscrewing the box, but we you know, helped them out as necessary or as they asked. But It's pretty exciting for us to see it, uh, its first uh, emergence out of the, the wrapping. So the next step after getting Atlas here in the lab and set up is to slowly transfer all of the all of the software that we developed for the virtual challenge and actually run it on the real robot and have him do all of the same things in in the physical space that we previously had him doing in simulation. The robot that was simulated for us during the virtual challenge was a was an accurate model, a replication of Atlas. So we're, we're sort of already familiar with, with the way he works in a, in a perfect ideal situation. Now we have to iron out all of, the, all of the hiccups that are come into place with the gotchas that exist in the real world every day and try and get him moving around, picking up tools and, and walking and, and being robust and agile and the same way we had him doing virtually. Yeah, we learned a little about it. They showed us you know, what we should look for as we're running it. Uh, how to pressurize the nitrogen for the reservoir, where to plug it in, what, uh, what the lights mean on the different devices, where the plugs go. Um, we don't do a whole lot of maintenance on it, or actually we do no maintenance on it. So, you know, we don't really take touch fasteners other than at the hands and the head. But other than that, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty much operated just through software. Because right now all the only thing we can make it do is what it came kind of out of the box is just walk in place. There is a Boss Dynamics walk, but it's not kind of built into the firmware, so to speak. So we have to try and we're trying to get that working, but also the next step is really getting our code working on this robot. It's probably about two weeks of work to till we'll have us doing something interesting with the robot. Atlas is one of the one of the most advanced humanoid robots in the world right now, and so having the opportunity to, to sit down and work on work on this hardware that's sitting on the on the edge of the field is just a really cool opportunity and a lot of fun.